Well, it looks like everyone is losing their minds right now because inflation is only down to 8.3%. Now listen. Now, isn't this crazy, guys, that just now the media and everybody else is catching up to the fact that inflation wasn't determined because of gas? I beg your pardon? People believe, even the government, remember, I reported this long time ago, the government was saying, the only reason why inflation is so high is because of gas prices. Remember when the government said, gas prices were the determining factor, and when gas prices drop, then inflation would drop a lot. Now, where are we right now? The inflation report came in, it was at 8.3%, and we were down from 8.5%, but guess what? Gas is already down, probably as far as it's gonna go. With a sharp decrease in energy, inflation is still high. <laughs> Listen, guys. It's going to continue to get worse. When you see things like this, the stock market has dropped 800 points today. <laughs> things are going to continue to get worse. And this is the reason why I'm saying it is so important, guys, that you make sure that if you're going to buy a house, that your job is stable, that you are not overpaying for this house, and that you have everything set up, an emergency savings account, all of this stuff before you buy a house. Because I can tell you this right now, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm not trying to scare anyone or anything, I'm just being a realist, look, at the numbers. I've been covering this for a year or so. Every time I do a video, I hit right on the button, guys. It is important that you listen to this message. You have to make sure everything that you have going on right now in your life, your job, your housing, your bills, all of those things have to be A1 before you buy a house. Because if you don't have all of those things together, you're putting yourself in a situation where you might regret it. But let's jump right into this. Inflation consumer prices rise 8.3% over the last year in August, tanking stocks, clinching rate heights. I can promise you this, the Fed is seeing this and they're saying, no way. This is unacceptable. They may even go up 100 basis points, guys. What? Raise the interest rates by 1%. Isn't that crazy? They should have done this long time ago when I, I mean, nobody's listening to me, right? <laughs> but I was saying a month, six months, eight months ago that they should be aggressive towards it. And we've had this Fed continue to pinch here, pinch there, pinch here, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, as far as babying this inflation, and we're seeing where it's going here. Inflation rose more than expected in August, even as prices moderated from four decades highs reached early this year. The consumer price index in August reflected an 8.3% increase over last year and an 0.1 increase over the prior month. Economists expected prices to rise to 8.1% over the last year and fall 0.1% over the last month. On a core basis, which strips out the volatile food and energy components of the report, prices rose 6.3% over the last year and 0.6% over the prior month. Expectations were for a 6.1% annual increase and a 0.3% monthly increase. Now, guys, listen, this is the issue here. If you take out all of that and only thing that we can look at is the increase portion, what did it change from one month to another? We went from 0.3% to 06 That means that inflation doubled. What did he say? <laughs> Now remember, the Fed is like, oh, food, uh, food is not the, the culprit. Uh, housing, oh, uh, that's not the culprit. You know, clothing, appliances, all this extra cost, that's not the culprit. They said the culprit was energy. Energy is down, and we're still going up by double numbers. You didn't have to cut me off. So if we're going up by double numbers, what do you think is going to happen in the fourth quarter. What do you think is going to happen during the holiday season? I'm telling you guys, and you're hearing it here first, I believe we're going to get into January and there's going to be job losses happening, guys. This is the reason why I'm saying to you to make sure that you have job stability before you decide to get into this housing market. Because I see flood of unemployment coming. I see a flood of people losing their jobs because everything gets turned back on and it's the beginning of the year and you will see cuts, cuts, 
cuts and more cuts. And what's another thing that we're hearing? We're hearing rents are coming down based off of some of these numbers and as they should. I have a video coming up where I talk about the breakdown of what landlords should really be doing in this aspect. Remember, we're in a situation where income has not changed, but everything has doubled or tripled. We have housing doubled or tripled. We've had appliances, labor, all types of things. Items, just everything has tripled or doubled. We got insurance, taxes, all of those things have doubled or tripled. That don't make no sense. And then we have flat income. There could only be one thing that happens from this, guys. Only one thing that could happen. And that is the Fed is going to continue to raise rates. And as they raise rates, there will be some people who go into foreclosure. There will be some people who realize they can't afford a mortgage anymore. There will be a bunch of people who sell properties because they say this is too much. They're being pulled in multiple different directions. We will see all of this happen going towards the fourth quarter. And I think we will get the real start of everything happening in the beginning of January. But I can guesstimate of when this stuff is gonna happen, but please, please, please do not take this information I'm giving you saying, Orlando said January 1st. No, you have to make sure you do your own research. You have to make sure that you're looking out of what's happening in your real estate market. But I really wanted to make this video because it's so important for everyone to know what these numbers mean. These numbers show that just because gas prices have went down doesn't mean we will get rid of the inflation. Inflation is something that's still creeping up and that will continue to go up unless the Fed takes some major actions and with them taking that major action that they're going to have to do, it's gonna hurt everybody. It's gonna hurt mortgages, it's gonna hurt demand, it's gonna hurt the stock market, and it's gonna hurt jobs, guys. And you have to be ready for that. What's so weird about this is that the Fed literally thought Gas prices over food. <laughs> that is crazy. Everybody goes to the grocery store and you've went into the grocery store, you've went to buy an appliance, you've went to go do all of these things and you have seen the price increases and the price increases have not went down because gas prices have went down. They've actually went up and the numbers reflect that, guys. So hopefully you got value out of this content, guys, but this will not give you all the information that you need. This video, you need to watch this video as it will help you understand everything that's going on with this crazy housing market. I will see you in the next one, thanks.